Social studies window muddy Looking like the cup I trail Angel hit my line but I'm too stuck in traffic Yo, hello, it's Reva here And in today's video I will be showing you guys How to make a 3D text in After Effects Without any plugins So yeah, let's get right into this So the first thing we're going to do is to click here and make a new composition And these are the settings I will be using here FHD and 24fps And here uh, it's important to go over here to 3D render And then choose Cinema 4D here And then you can press OK So the first thing we're going to do is to make a text layer here So you're going to click here on the text tool up here And then boom, type whatever you want the 3D text to say And I'm going to change some settings here So this is the text settings I will be using here And when you're done with that You're going to press here on the little 3D icon here You're going to check that one You're going to open up the text layer here And then you're going to open up geometry options here If you want to level up your editing Envato Elements is the perfect platform for you Envato Elements open up a world of creative possibilities For all of your design projects And it's powered by a community of talented designers You will get graphic assets educational resources and business management tools check the first link in the description and here you're going to set this extrusion depth to 100 and now to get a nice view of this I'm going to make a camera for this boom using these settings this is the settings I will be using here for the camera position here uh, so if you guys want to copy them just copy these numbers here and then and then we're going to be creating a light here so you're going to press new and then light and here the light type is going to be parallel and the shadow darkness is going to be 25 and then press ok and here we're going to be keyframing the point of interest here so I'm going to be dragging this one down to around here so yeah i'm going to be keyframing the point of interest and i, I want it to start here so i'm going to press the point of interest there go to three seconds make a marker there with the start key and then drag it all the way there, there. And when you're done with that, we're going to go back to the 3D text again. So you're going to open it up. And here we're going to open up transform. And here we're going to keyframing the scale and the Y rotation. So you can press the clock here on the Y rotation and set it to minus 14. So it looks centered. And then we're going to set the scale clock and set the scale to zero. Go to three seconds. Then set the scale to 100. And then set the rotation to zero on the Y rotation here. Boom. And you can set a marker in the middle of the animation, which is going to be one and a half seconds by pressing the start key. And then you're going to mark the scale keyframes and then pressing F9. And you're going to open the graph up. And here you're going to drag this one all the way up to there and then drag this one to the middle here. Pops up pretty fast in the beginning and then slows down in the ending. Looks pretty pretty good and now we're going to add a texture to this so we can make a reflection uh, to this 3d text and you can use any texture you want actually uh, but i'm going to use a galaxy texture so i'm going to drag it in here and drop it and from there drag the layer uh, to this icon here so you open it up in a new composition and here we're going to scale it down to 30 percent and then add motion tile then mirror edges, set this to 1000, this one to yeah, 1000 as well, just in case. And then we will be keyframed it uh, tile center, so you're going to press the clock here, and this animation is only going to be 10 seconds, and from there, drag this one to around 5000. So yeah, now it's going to look something like this, and it's going to go sideways, the texture, all the time. So when you have done this, you can now go back to your main composition here and then and then back to this project here and then drag this new composition you made into the main composition and here you're going to right click on this one and then press environment layer then open up your text layer go down to material options and then increase the reflection intensity to 100 and then I'm going to be making a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y drag this on above everything else and here you can add glow and I'm going to be setting the glow threshold to 30% glow radius here to 29 and the glow intensity to 0.5 then press ctrl D on the layer and here you're going to increase this to 292 and it's going to be 0.3 and do it again ctrl D 
set to 619 on the radius, 0.1 on the glow intensity. It's going to look something like this now. And one final touch I want to do is to go back to the text layer, open up uh, geometry options, and then here uh, choose a Babel depth. And I'm going to be using con convex, so it has a little edge to it, so you can really see like the 3D, 3D in, in this. So yeah, this is how it's going to look, and I think it, I think it turned out pretty good. If you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, join my Discord server, so check out my website, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.